everybody welcome back to my channel it's been a really long time since i posted but i'm trying to do better i didn't have my computer it was in south carolina and i've been in virginia for the past few weeks so i haven't had a great way to edit hopefully we will be doing some more stuff together today i did my everyday makeup look and yeah no one really requested this but i asked people if they'd watch it and they said yes so here we are if you like what you see keep watching and if you don't I hope you do. You know, everybody wants their face to be liked, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out all of my stuff that I'm gonna be using. Um, a lot of this is Glossier, and it's not sponsored, because I literally have 16 subscribers. I have more than 16 subscribers, but, I mean, all I use is Glossier, and I'm not even sorry. Very professional. Um, don't think I like this lighting. It's just bad lighting, I'm sorry. But my room's a mess and I'm trying to keep it clean, you know? Not my room, <laughs> just the footage. All right, so first thing I do is I go in with this Milk Makeup Blur Stick. You see it? It's not a real camera, so it probably won't focus, but it just like literally does what it says. So it just blurs a little bit and it makes everything like look better. I don't know, keeps things all longer, pretty low key. I just go around my face like that. It's literally all I do. It's very specific. Oh, that was cute. And then I just rub it all in. Rub it up, dub. All right, now that that's on, just jump in. It's Glossier Skin Tint in the shade Light, because I'm light, you know. You have to shake it up. I mean, that's what everybody says, but I just do it. And I just kind of squiggle. And I just kind of, it's not really specific. It's not enough for my face. Because it, it really doesn't have a lot of coverage. That might have been too much. I don't even care. It doesn't have a lot of coverage, but I've just found that it helps my skin look, like, smoother. Like, it looks like my skin. It's just slightly corrected. Um, takes away a lot of the redness. And it keeps me from getting, like, super oily. And I just think that it helps everything. It just look cleaner. Like, I have really good skin. And... I mean, my skin's not bad, but it's not, it's not awesome. I just realized I was talking really quiet again. <sighs> so yeah, I just go in with my fingers because I don't know, that's what people on the website do and I'm trying to look like them. I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, I might have to refilm this later because the lighting is literally crap. And no one really asked for this video, but it was just something to post and I think it'll be fun. I think we're gonna have a good time. I wonder if I turn the music on. I think that made it worse. Um, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. Let's keep trekking. So then I use the Glossier Stress Concealer in the shade Light. It's really dirty because I'm a smudgy person. I don't know. So you just like rub your finger around the little pot and then I just go in under my eyes mostly. And I really like this because it's very light coverage, but it's still, again, it just makes you look cleaner, more awake. Like, you know what you're doing with your life, you know? Like, you're prepared for the day. And, honestly, like, I just, I love everything about Glossier. Like, I like that it's a natural makeup. I like that it doesn't make me look cakey or, like, I'm putting a lot on. Some people might not like that, but I just am trying to look like a better version of myself. Like, I still want to look like me. So, after I'm done under my eyes, I just kind of go around. Just check to see if anything looks a little icky. If we want to cover anything up. Normally I do a little bit on my chin just because hmm, why not, you know, might as well. And then I just create all the little spots. Also, I have two bug bites on my neck. Don't know why. Just throwing out out there. Woke up this morning and I was like, holy crap, my neck itches. And it was tragic. So that's fun. So yeah, I don't really put a lot on my eyelids because my eyelids tend to get like a little creasy during the day anyway, and I'm just not trying to encourage that. So Unfortunately, one thing about the stretch concealer is that it creases pretty badly if you don't set it, which is basically any, any concealer really. So I, I take this mineral powder foundation from Mary Kay, every 14 year old girl's dream, you know what I'm saying? And look at that glare, whoa. Yeah, I just set my face with it. And like, it's not really, it's like a little dark for me, but you know, balling on a budget, so <laughs> just doing what I can. So really I just go under the eyes with quite a lot. And I like it because it gives a little bit more coverage and it makes everything like look a little bit less like in my opinion there's a fine line between greasy and dewy and I think that this just helps balance that out because I have pretty dry skin so 
um i just i don't know i'm trying not to look like i'm rough so yeah after i go under my eyes i focus it under my eyes then i just kind of you know swish it around my face it's pretty specific if you ask me you know it's a science clearly i know exactly where i'm putting everything i'm just trying to get everything and then i like blend down in my neck not a lot like not all the way down like a lot of people do just enough so that if i had like any um rough areas that hadn't been blended well into my neck like from my skin tint even though you can't really see it a lot i just i like i like doing it so after i'm done this i go in with my sephora color contour it is it says it's a blush but i don't trust it i think it's first touch is the shade but i have a really hard time finding bronzers and stuff that work for my skin tone because i am really really light and i don't have warm undertones which a lot of pale people do or come like like a lot of companies think that they do but this is like a really pretty like grayish um undertone like cool bronzer and i just go under their cheekbones to like look a little bit less like a squirrel you know so i just kind of do that I try to keep it pretty blended pretty natural low-key kind of um focus it mostly in like right by my hair and then i just bring it out and i think it makes a pretty big difference i don't have like super pronounced cheekbones and this cheekbone fun fact about my face face fact it's like not as good as the right one which is funny because i generally like my left side better like everybody has a side you know so i like my left side better so i just try to make it look like a little bit less i always feel like i can never see it as much as i can on this side oh that's okay eh, it's not terrible so then after i'm done with that brush i like contouring my nose fun fact so i just take this i think it's a concealer brush technically i haven't talked about any of the brushes i use because most of them i don't even know what they are i used to do itsy for like a year and then i stopped doing it because i had too much crap in my room i just kind of take this and like really lightly run it along the bridge of my nose and that looks a little bit harsh but we'll fix it in a minute also i like do this with my elbows so like creates a little support system you know i like focusing it like in my the corners of my eyes and then i just bring it down as you can see it's not super technical it's not super you know anything in particular probably can't even see it but i mean i can and i have a huge nose i think so we love a we love a big nose so yeah i just do what i can to salvage that and then after that i go in with blush i have three blushes that i use just depending on my mood so the first one is this Too faced one and it's in the shade love flush or no it's not <laughs> it's Too faced love flush and the shade is called your love is king I don't love that. So, well, I like the color, I just don't like the name. Also, I'm looking at this part of myself because iPhone cameras are like literally. Also, I like have to twist my nose ring around a lot because like the little ball just wanders every which way and it looks like I'm picking my nose, but I'm not. So that's the tea. The other blushes I use are the Cloud Paint in Beam by Glossier. Duh. What else would I use? I really like this. It's super easy to blend out. It's super beautiful. So, so pigmented. Like you barely need any. And I've had this for like almost six months and I've used barely any of it. Like all of this is completely like full you can see yeah i love everything about glossier wouldn't change a thing and then the last uh blush that i use is the tarte amazonia clay 12 hour blush in the shade feisty it's like a really pretty like neutral oh this is what this one looks like maybe i opened it up maybe i didn't so it's you know pretty basic and then the cloud paint see it's just super fun so i'm gonna use that since i squirted it on my hand and i just smile a little bit on the apple of my cheeks like i said you barely need any like you guys saw how much i put on my hand it was like not a lot at all so that's that's fun love that for me because it's it makes it like you don't need to buy it as often i'm like stuff is just sponsored i'm not trying to get broke i'm balling on a budget so i just beat my face up with my ring finger and just blend it out really like that you literally can't see anything i'm doing but hopefully it's like coming together like you can see little improvements as i go along um i'll when i'm done i'll take you guys over to like better lighting and say this is the finished look because the lighting is really bad right here but it's all i had so i am sorry i need to do better also i need to do better about posting um comment a song you guys want me to cover and i will do my best i am really forgetful but i promise i will try so just nag me and then i'll do it so next i'm gonna do eyebrows i just use this little boy brow from glossier in the shade brown <laughs> super cute anyway i just go like that to make my brows like pretty hefty looking you know like you can see that i like natural brows considering that mine are actually really in need of help i'm gonna take this color pop brow boss i got it a few days ago i love it this is also in the shade brunette 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 i don't know i don't really care that much it's fine 
you know what I'm saying, it's brown, whatever. Just like go through and just try to make them look a little bit more like I didn't just put a bunch of crap on them. I, I try to keep it natural. And then what I like to do is like to take the actual pencil and just go a little, sorry I need a mirror for this, but go a little bit under it and then like draw a few upward strokes just to make them look fuller, like they're living their best life. Cause I'm living my best life. My eyebrows are distant cousins. They barely know each other. They see each other once a year at family reunions. You know, it's fine. So that is it for my brows. And then I do my new love, these Glossier Lid Stars in the shade Fawn and Slip. And I love these because you can build them up. They're so buildable. They do not come off during the day. They do not crease at all. And they are so, so pigmented when you put them on, but you can also like blend them out. They're, they're pigmented. They're easy to wear. They are really, really blendable. They don't dry down very quickly, but they dry down quickly enough that it doesn't get clumpy or anything. So what I like to do is I'm just gonna take Fawn, just do a little bit on the actual lid and then I just look up or yeah up keep my eyelid kind of relaxed and then just blend it out with my finger and it just creates this really beautiful halo but yeah I'm just gonna do that on the other side and another thing I really like about these is like the applicator it's like a doe foot applicator so after I am done with on I like to take slip and just put it on like the part of my eyelid where the light hits and then just barely, barely, barely tap it, blend it just enough. Like, it lightens it up so much. And I really love that. First time I ever wore one, I got a compliment. And that in my book is a win. So that's it for eyeshadow. Now I'm going to go in with mascara. I use the Lash Slick Fern Glossier. I literally have a problem. I use Glossier way too much. So I just go in. I love this mascara because it doesn't flake away throughout the day. And it doesn't smudge. And it's just so easy to wear and apply. And it's really easy to like take off. I use the like micellar, cellular, some kind of water. I don't know. It's from like Garnier maybe. And I just... I don't even know if that's even there we go so yeah that's it for the top lashes and then the bottom lashes I just like look up kind of brush through them I like looking refreshed but pretty natural except for highlighters I like the bright highlighters another um mascara I use is get big lashes volume boost mascara from essence it's literally four dollars the wand is amazing it's gigantic um and sometimes if I'm feeling fancy apparently I am right now because I put it on without realizing it just go back in and a little something extra you know what I'm saying and you can see already like it's a it's a really good mascara and you can't beat the price point i mean four bucks we love a good sister steel the only thing i don't like about this mascara sometimes it will smudge like around your eye so that's it for mascara i might go in with this and just lock it in you don't need a lot make sure that it's not gonna smudge because i have found like if you are wise and put something on with it it won't smudge the last step is highlighter i just got this and i love it it's the color pop super shock cheek highlighter in the shade flexitarian a few people that i watch use this and i love it i go in with this elf highlighter brush also this is like eight dollars which is beautiful I just go in on my cheekbones. It blows me away how much you can get from like just a little bit of this product. And it stays on really well throughout the day. It doesn't make me look like greasy. It makes me look pretty shiny and dewy. But it's also not like chunks of glitter. You know, it's like a happy crossroads between all the different kinds of highlighters. So I put that on my cheekbones, just a little bit above the brow. And then I like going in between my eyes, like right there in like the center of my forehead. And then just go in and I put it on the tip of my nose because I think it makes me look like a little reindeer. It's happy. It probably makes my nose look bigger, but I don't even care. <laughs> so yeah, I like doing that because I, see, it just, I think it's so cute. That's about all I do. Generally, I don't use a setting powder. If I do, I steal my sister's. So... I think it's so relaxing. I love makeup. I love Glossier. If you guys are interested in getting some Glossier, I have a code that will get you 10% off your first order, and I'll link that in the description. So yeah, that is my everyday makeup look. How about them apples? I felt really awkward like leaving the video like that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a friend. Give me some love in the comments. You know, go check out videos I've done in the past. Thank you guys. I love you. Bye.